Hello and welcome to Michigan and the Arca car. Uh, looking forward to this one. This one should be pretty fun. Um, we got uh, Michigan in a state we don't see it all too often anymore, where you actually have to lift. Big track with some banking like this. Um, a lot of cars are just flat out, but um, we got the Arca car, and we got you know just a tiny bit of lift. I mean, it's kind of an underpowered car, or, you know, lower horsepower, because, well, I'd say Arca car, but, um, enough variance with the throttle, enough throttle control necessary that, uh, it makes it necessary to lift just a bit, and that little bit of lift is all the difference in actually letting people spread out and, um, keeping things interesting. Although, uh, they're not going to spread out too much, because I feel like we're still going to probably be uh, pretty close to one another. But uh, I'm optimistic. I think it'll be a fun race, but we'll see how it goes. Qualifying coming up. Trying to get a run to the line. Green, green, green. Okay, we okay. got a halfway decent one. Time black. We'll do a uh, little bit of a conservative lap first. Just to get on the board. Okay. And then uh, we'll push it a little further on the second lap. But hey, this one's looking pretty good on its own. Michigan, you definitely want to... Ooh, ooh, getting loose. Not too bad. Hey, that ended up being pretty good. <laughs> Not loose enough to where I was scrubbing off speed, but loose enough to where it... Uh, Kept my card turning. That was pretty good. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> yeah. um, pushing it this time. Sorry, I gotta focus <laughs> on these corners. Um, track conditions seem a little bit different. Maybe that's why it's uh, driving a little bit. I'm scatterbrained right now. Focusing on my throttle control. And not spinning and getting a worse lap the second time around. Oh well, first lap was pretty good. That was an all time best, so can't feel too bad about that getting an all time best uh, in practice, even though I mean, my all time best, quote unquote, is just whatever I got in a 30 minute practice beforehand. Should be a good starting spot though. Man, number two's got it figured out. They're probably flat footing it. They can control uh, a loose car. They got a tenth on us. So we'll ride around a little bit. Let me try to remember what I was saying before, because that's probably annoying for me to start a start a thought and then not finish it. <laughs> um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, you want to be on that. Uh, you don't want to run the bottom at Michigan, because I think it's like. I don't know if it's progressive banking, but I know I think there's at least some more banking on the. Oh boy, car's tight. Um, I think there's more banking in this lane compared to this lane. Regardless of the reason, you're not going to be as fast on the very bottom at Michigan. It's demonstrated here; it just doesn't turn as well, and then got to lift off more. Nah, I just want to be uh. Seems like in most cars at this track, you want to be on that uh, one lane up, second lane. <clears throat> and uh, I think tire wear is going to be a thing. So obviously not going to push as hard during the race as I was there in qualifying. I've fallen back to third, by the way. Oh, let me just slide around, I guess. Um, Lewandowski, yes, he's always super fast. <laughs> he's a viewer of, uh, I think, Nick as well. I've seen him around. So, he's fast, he gets ahead of us, so we're currently the number three and third. We got a, a nice tenth and a half behind us to fourth. We'll see how that translates to race speed though. Probably not too well, probably translate just about as well as Google Translate translates other languages. Like, you can see what it's trying to do, but plenty of inaccuracy and awkwardness. That's about how well it'll probably translate. 
Uh, might uh, try using that the seam here to get it to turn. I remember doing that a little bit in uh, the open race I did. There's a couple uh, couple series that are at Michigan this week. I think the B cars are here, and then I did that C open race, and now we got ARC car. Not sure what that's about. Everybody is in Michigan. I think we got to jump in real quick because everyone's all ready. I love that update. That's so far my favorite update <laughs> from the new build. Being able to jump into the race sooner when everyone's ready. So we're gonna go ahead and have session last lap all set to go. We'll take a look at the pace of the guys ahead of us and try to match it a bit. While not burning the tires off. Don't want to be fighting side by side. Hopefully the guys behind us don't do it, but... You know, they probably will. They'll probably get a run on one of the corners and be like, I gotta pass. I gotta do it. Maybe I'll do the same thing. Maybe I'll have a crazy run and I'm only like, I can't lift off this much. So, maybe I'm gonna be hypocritical. But ideally, I don't want to be fighting too much. Too soon, because it's a 30 lap race on a 2 mile track. So we got lots of distance to cover. We get uh, everyone's favorite sideways start here because reasons and uh, hopefully we can get a podium today that's what it's expecting from us podium would be awesome top five would be very very cool top ten would be okay and anything else than that that would be probably like we need to follow car number two as long, but if I can get a 0x, then not so bad. If I fall back, then there's a reason. And if there's a reason I fall back past out of 10th while still getting a 0x, it means I probably learned something new. And that's valuable on its own as well. So, as long as we can have a clean race, probably not going to be too bad. Looks like a second gear start. Take another look. Yeah, too close to the limiter, so second gear start. No tire spin whatsoever. Our revs are low enough here on second gear. Tires are fresh enough that it won't be an issue. Not sure how well I'm going to be able to save the tires. But we're going to find out, aren't we? I don't think we're going to ever get to the point where we have to use brake. I could be wrong, but it just feels like... Uh, I don't think it would ever be necessary. Well, we're going to find out. Got my uh, steering ratio 16 to 1. And uh, at a personal preference, my steering offset at the whatever it is, negative 15 or whatever. To try to keep the wheel a little bit straighter. So, ready to get going here. I'll keep an eye on this number 2, see if we can get a good jump. He is off. Green, green, green. You can jump, I think. Outside. Stay low. Stay low. They're gonna be a bit loose. Gonna have to watch out for that. Stay low. Go ahead and uh, overtake since we had our nose on the number two. We had a good, pretty good jump. Or the number one, rather. Position two is what I was trying to say. And uh, now we'll just try to keep up with the two without uh, ripping the old tires off the thing. Looks like... Lewandowski is saving tires more than we are, as of right now. Just trying to keep that wheel straight. 
And uh, Draft's not huge in these cars, but try to keep uh, behind the number two and maybe he'll pull us just a bit. Alright. I very much enjoy the fact that we're not racing side by side right now. The car turning down here, yeah. Two's got good pace. I know uh, he's fast. I've been in races where he's won before. So, he's probably able to be up there still keep the tires on it, but we'll see. Ooh. Entered a little wide there. Not quite what I wanted. Hmm. I like uh, feeling the car pull to the left without my uh, wheel needing to turn. That to me is a good sign that we're getting the rotation we need without having to crank the wheel. Uh, a little wide again there, not so much fan of how that went. Consistent. I got uh, the number nine back there. It's got better draft. Mm -mm -mm. Try not to turn the wheel as much as I can avoid it. But uh, I don't want to slide up into the wall either. That is not good for the long run, believe it or not. Okay. Hmm. Number two almost looked like he went a bit wide there. I enjoy Michigan when it's uh, not just a uh, one of the super speedways. It can turn into a super speed where really easy depending on what car and what package on that car you have. But uh, when it's feeling kind of like this, I enjoy it. And I'm just focusing on getting a run out of the corner. Lifting off early so you get to the corner without uh, as much speed. And then uh, focusing on getting that run off, because on a big track like this, two miles long, getting as much speed as you can on these straightaways is a good thing, believe it or not. Because <laughs> you're going to be on that straightaway for a long time. Frames are doing kind of a weird thing. I'm not a big fan of that. Kind of getting a little stuttery. Not a big deal, though. I wheeled in the two a little bit. Not sure if that's because I'm overdriving it or what, but. <laughs> Hopefully the tires just don't fall off a cliff. That would be what we call in the industry bad. Get the throttle to get a little bit of rotation, feels like. I'm not going to try to pass the two until I know I can make it done, or get it done quick. Got a lap car up here. Something must have happened to them. Must be off the pace a bit. I wonder if they got damage or something. Eh, 
Okay, just trying to keep it smooth for now. We're already about a third of the way through. We're right on his his bumper. It almost just feels like I'm keeping the wheel completely straight the whole time. It's uh, such a slight turn in that you do. A little higher on the track than I would have liked there. Not such a great lap. I go ahead and uh, maximize our front stretch here. Lewandowski's is catching us, so I guess he did a better job. Steven tires. Had a feeling it was going uh, so easy at the start. Get that seam. We're about equal. Maybe a little better than the two. In terms of tire wear. Oh my. Oh, wow, that was scary. Oh boy. You really had to lift off. Still there, inside. Still inside. Go ahead and defend, maybe make him waste his tires. Keep high. I feel like we can defend pretty well on this high side. Still there, hold your Clear. I want to just give it to him. I'm going to fight for it. See what I can do. Looks like he's gonna back off. Probably wait for his next chance. I don't know what you did there. <laughs> and uh, uh, probably yeah, find a way to get past me at some point, right but right we'll keep it for as long as we can. <laughs> might be a. Uh, might be hard to pass once uh, it's later in the run. It could play to our benefit. I'm really glad I didn't run into him though as uh, we exited the corner that time, that one time. Easily could have happened. Outside. That was too much steam. Wow. Well, <laughs> that's how you throw it away. Wasn't expecting it to get that loose. I thought it was going to be yeah. necessary to get that turn, but uh, suddenly we're turning too much. It's tight. It's tight. Ah, entered corner very wrong there. Well, I'm making mistakes.
Getting a bit of a push. <laughs> I'm afraid we're going to get run over on entry, though, because I have to maintain these tires. That's about how much seam I wanted to get. Enough to get it rotated, but not to get me sideways. It's a very fine line. I'm literally running this on 210 degrees, and if I turn more than like 90 oh degrees, it locks. Oh, he's coming on my so outside. I, I wonder why I'm plowing straight. <sighs> I realized, oh shit, I didn't change it back. He's driving way too close to me, that's, no, that's so not necessary. <laughs> giving me no space at all. It's gonna lift off! I could have done that better, but... Oh well. Uh, we might have had a shot to hold him off if I was perfect for the rest of the race and uh, didn't make those mistakes, but didn't have the talent for that. Overshot the entry as well here. He almost went up and got the wall. Looked like he got a little too sideways using the seam. I like it though. This racing is uh, talent based. You know, how uh, hard you're willing to push it, how risky you're willing to be getting in the car to turn, and, you know, not super speedway. <laughs> That's all I ask for in my mile and a half or longer tracks. Just uh, have something to differentiate yourself from other guys catching via draft. Got a nice gap behind fourth. So as long as we don't get wrecked, I think we have a pretty good shot of the top five here. It almost feels like it's getting looser, which I am very excited about. I hope it continues to trend that direction. I am A-OK -okay with this development. Catching up to Anaya again. I want to fight side by side. Maybe we can push him up to the one. We need the one to make a mistake, though, for any chance for anyone other than him to win. Nine goes wide. Oh, yeah. Come on by. Awful feeling when you know the car's just not turning. Car didn't turn. Oh boy, the car didn't turn there. Sorry, that was sketchy. All right, we'll give that another try. Did you see me on the freaking bottom there? Oh my god, I'm so good. You got the homies for going down there. I 
I'm okay with how the car's feeling right now. It's just sometimes it just doesn't turn, you know? Oh. <laughs> this is fun, though. I really like this racing. You got five laps to go. Uh -oh. It's getting a little tight. We're good, though. Push through it. Just felt a little bit too tight for my comfort for a second. We got figured out. I went hard in that corner. Made it stick though. Trying to hit my marks. Lewandowski's not getting away, but I think he's just trying to maintain as well, so I'm not so sure it's because we have a chance at him or anything. Oh, did he get wall? Is that prediction code? I'm using up the tires now. <laughs> Amped it a little high there. Anyways. We're just maintaining this gap. Uh, I'm for, from first. What happens if I do this? But up here, it kills the runoff. I knew that, so why did I try it? I knew that would happen. <laughs> why did I do that? Uh, I don't know, I guess you don't know until you try. You know, maybe late run, that extra turn you get by crossing the same. What's the difference? Uh-uh. Hope we can keep third, because we are definitely pressured from behind. got loose behind us, I think, or maybe hit the wall. Saw some shimmying. Something a little bit different here. He was up the very last of the tire. Ah, uh, it didn't work. Try to enter a little higher, get a massive run. <laughs> um... Try to get a massive run and maybe have a shot in him in turns three and four, but not quite. A oh, good win, Thomas. Good win, you did, Pollock. <laughs> yeah, that was fun racing. Good win. There's the flag. It's over. I'm never running on 210 ever again. Good job. <laughs> oh. Very good job. Yeah, that was an awesome race. I love that. Look at that dude playing. Yeah, good race, everybody. It was fun. I like this combo. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that I had a wheel that was only 270 degrees, It's official. So I, I recommend it. So, third as the free car. Uh, racing there with you, Jack. Seems like everyone had a pretty good yeah, race. A lot of fun. We'll see uh, what happened out there, but I don't think it's uh, too big a difference. thing is, I normally don't use 210. I just used it in, uh, like, a... So maybe if I didn't make uh, a couple of those mistakes, I would have had a better shot. But like I, I was trying to drive it like I was. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I uh, care about what they're saying, but I'm trying to make a video here. Um, 
If I had uh, avoided a couple of those mistakes, maybe I have the track position and can hold them off, but sure. Up there, guys. Let's see the incidents. Mine was at 40 40. Tap. 50-73. I kind of burned him off at the end uh, intentionally, though. Yeah, please, baby, uh, I don't know this. how you need us to stay up there in that speed. Half tire, that much tire left. I mean, I'm just killing my right front. My right front was 53 and my right rear was 76. Yeah, mine wasn't so good either, but I think that last lap I did where I like did something crazy and just tried to use the rest of my tire. Right. I was actually shaved up multiple on the right front. Multiple digits. Well, I mean I'm blistering my right front, but I'm I mean I'm backing the corners up quite a bit. So far just a couple wall taps. Better on throttle, so you kinda of have to slow down sooner than you kinda of think and then get back in the gas early to get the turn. Better. Yeah, I think that's what I was doing wrong. Yeah, like you're saying, it's all about the runoff. Uh oh, this is an actual crash. Got into the wall and then peeled himself off. Yeah, the best thing for me was um, when I was letting off. So my let off point after about six laps are the light at the end yeah, of the front stretch and then the stinks. last white bumps on the wall. In the back. Sorry, they're talking a bit too much. Uh, that stinks. Uh, where did the, uh, I'm curious, that guy that saved his tires roll, well, number six, you know, he saved his tires super well, and then look at all the track position he gained. He did a good job of saving tires. Speaking of, there he is. Hitting the wall on entry, probably. Ooh. He's lucky he didn't get stuck to it. More on entry. It's kind of deceptive, because, like... I felt like I almost did it a couple times, because if you look at the wall, I guess it's maybe a quirk of the safer barrier. Look, it like, kind of juts out a little bit right there. It's kind of strange. Okay. Got a Coca-Cola scheme here. Just kind of drifting up the track or something. Looks like clean race, though, it seems like. We had that one incident, the guy peeled off the wall, and, and it just ended up taking himself out. We got some crazy racing back here. Ooh, almost in the wall. Oof. I think the 16's hit the wall a time or two. This is a guy that's uh, crashed before, and now he's just blinking out. Ooh, Oreos. That sounds good. I like me some Oreos. I'm gonna get a boost into the corner. We are not. We're going to get a whole lot of nothing. Because it was a very clean race, overall. I got like a Christmas scheme that was like the abominable snowman from Rudolph. Maybe I'll put a I'll look around and see if I can get any holiday schemes. That might be fun. I say that and I'm probably not going to do it because I'm going to forget. Because that's what I do. A whole lot of nothing. I don't know why we're seeing this stuff, but, I mean, that's a good thing. Seems like it was a great race, clean overall, like, it's really starting to seem like these two-mile tracks, Auto Club and Michigan, are really good fits for these ARCA cars, because I loved Auto Club, ARCA, and uh, this race was pretty good. They seem pretty clean. It's like Nashville Super Speedway at a mile and a third over there. That's usually pretty good track. What did I do? Is this me hitting 50 on my right front? Could be. Yeah, this is that corner where, uh, see, it's heading the last lap. So what I did, my thought process was I can use all the rest of the tire I have left, whatever it is. So what I did was I drove in a little tiny bit deeper with the intent of having like a wider cut down. And the idea was to be able to get a run off the corner, but the problem was I didn't quite get the angle right. I didn't quite let off enough, I guess, because I want to be closer to this line on the bottom. But the intent was get a good run, and maybe if I, like, maximize that corner, use up the rest of my tire, then I get a good run on them, and maybe there's a shot to get my nose in. That was kind of just a last-ditch effort. Didn't work out. But, uh, I can make that, uh, 
I can take that risk because I'm not going to need the tires anymore after the end of the lap. So, see if I do that with four laps to go or something, and it doesn't work like that, then the two is probably going to end up passing me in a couple laps. So, uh -uh. just trying something, because I wasn't going to catch him just doing the same thing I had been doing for the past ten laps or so. I'll give myself a shot, even if it's a 1% chance. Well, so you're saying there's a chance? <laughs> and that's it. That's uh, That was the race. A very fun one. We got podium. Feels like I've been on the uh, the short the short pillar pretty often lately, looking up at the other guys. But hey, I'm on the podium. It counts. And it was a fun race. Started third, finished third, was the third car in terms of number. So, go figure. Could have seen that coming. But that'll be it. I hope it was entertaining. I had a lot of fun. See you next time.